Gentlemen, here we are, Mr. Trenton and Mr. Sanders doing some of that cross-curricular professional development. Go we want to, Yeah, go, go Eagles. We want to show you guys how to install Adobe Acrobat Pro so that you can edit PDFs. Mr. Trenton, we're going to click on the start. We're going to go to all programs. We're going to go to Software System Center, Microsoft System Center 2012 right here yes sir and then we're gonna go to software center software center Adobe Acrobat Pro has a lot of benefits let's say you have a PDF it's the second one Adobe Acrobat Pro let's check the box next to it on the left and then click install selected on the bottom right hand corner so there you go you got Adobe Acrobat Pro 11 install selected on the bottom right hand corner and then we'll fire it up See what happens, and it's working. It'll tell you the status. Currently downloading. The good thing about the Adobe Acrobat Pro is you can create PDFs that your students can access, and then after your students access them, they can turn them in instead of having to print them out or trying to type on it with a typewriter. It's it's a uh, pretty nice to be able to edit PDFs. Also, Adobe Acrobat Pro will let you edit PDFs, edit text, edit images, and create films where they forms where they can form fields where they can just type into. So, Mr. Trenton. Good deal. All right, happy November. We're installing. There it goes. Just about done. It doesn't take very long. You can have the program running in the background. Thank you very much. Yes, sir, and then uh, a continuation of this, we'll show you how to edit the PDFs using Adobe Acrobat Pro. All right, take care. Go Eagles. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once it has successfully installed Adobe Acrobat Pro 11, now you can just close that window and open Adobe Acrobat Pro. You can open it from the start menu or there's a shortcut on the keyboard or on the desktop. Let's say someone sends you an, a PDF and you want to edit it. You can create PDFs, edit PDFs, create forms, or you can even combine files into a PDF. So let's go ahead and open and see if we have a PDF available. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once you get the document open that you want to edit, you can go up to the top right hand corner. You can click tools. Tools. Go ahead and click tools. And then you click content editing. You can edit text and images, add text, and do other things. So we're going to move this picture around. Just to show you an example of how we can edit these PDFs. You can replace an image, you can replace text. Let's say right here on the essay, you want to tell them what kind of essay. You could actually go on there and start typing the text by clicking there and editing it. Uh, or you can uh, add your own text by clicking add text. Let's say Let's say we want to get out of there. How will we get out of there? We can just press the escape key if we're done with editing. And then after we hit the escape key, we should be able to come over to forms at the next one and add form fields or edit our form fields down towards the bottom, forms. And then we can edit form fields or add fields. Yeah, so if we click edit, then we see here, these are on each page we have all these things. So when you get down here to page seven, we have full name, legal name, all that. We can set up our boxes where the students can just type directly into those boxes. Sometimes when you open a PDF that doesn't have any form fields, if you click edit fields, it'll say, do you want me to automatically find them for you? And you'll say yes. It does a pretty good job finding the ones you need. Sometimes you have to go in there and edit it, and you would do that by clicking add new field. Let's say we want to put a checkbox right underneath this frog. We're going to click add new field, checkbox, and then you're going to click and drag the, text, the checkbox as large as you want it. Okay, uh, or you can just click once. We're going to click close form editing. Right here. And now we can check that checkbox. Boom. So that's just one of many other things. And then you can Google all other cool things if you want to do that. Well, we've had a lot of fun. We got to go because lunch is over. Adios.